All right, so here's the next uh, Nerf Airsoft conversion I did. Uh, it's a Dart Tag 16 uh, Nerf gun. I've got the micro switch here and uh, wired it all up today. And here it goes. Um, select fires right here. So now semi auto. You can feather that thing out as much as you want. Um, and I'll put it all together. It uses a box mag. See this cable here and feeds through to the other side. You can see there's the, the feed for the box mag. Um, it'll be mounted on the rail here. This used to be kind of like a shotgun configuration. Um, and so I have a rail to host the box mag. And the next video I'll take will be of it with the box mag and everything put back together. Alright, so uh, this is the second Nerf gun I've modified to use a HPA F1 engine uh, from Polar Star. Uh, it also has a Pro Win hop up and a 363mm barrel in it. Um, I have a 3D printed and designed and printed an adapter uh, for holding a box mag. Um, so this is going to hold a box mag. Uh, the original had a shotgun, so I, I kept the original foregrip on it. Um, this is the Dart Tag 16G Nerf gun. Um, not using this, but I thought it looked cool, so I left it. Uh, and then you can see the HPA hose wired out the back. Um, I had to install electronic micro switch trigger since there was none. Uh, this was an, an electric gun before. Um, so I installed electro electronic micro switch trigger. Um, and then to access the computer, um, I actually reutilized the shell door that they had um, that was with the gun. Um, and so I 3D printed a mount that actually uh, allows me to access the computer and turn the gun on and off with on off switch. Uh, and I can also charge the uh, LiPo battery, the small LiPo battery that powers the FCU. Um, and so uh, I've also done here and here a select fire for semi-auto and full auto. Um, and so I can turn the um, fire position on and off uh, depending on what uh, fire mode I want it to fire. Um, and uh, I got it all plugged in, so I'll give it a try here, show you how it works. Um, so basically, uh, point and shoot. That's semi-auto. That's full auto. You can turn the box mag on. Uh, or make sure it's on auto. Or you can wire it to a switch if you want. And that's about it.